everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. I'm so excited that we are officially in 2016. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope it was filled with laughter, fun, family memories and all that great stuff. Now that the holidays are officially over tier, um, I'm ready to get back in this YouTube game. I apologize, I have been so MIA. I hope you guys can understand that I just needed some time with my family and I just needed to, some time to myself. But now I am back and I am so excited. Um, I'm really liking my lighting situation right now. So let me guys know if you guys like this setup, this lighting, this lens, let me know down below. But I will get into the sappy stuff in the end of this video, so please stay tuned till the end of this video because I have a big thank you for you guys and all that stuff. But let's get into why you're actually here. My 2015 beauty, I have like two random things, favorite. Um, favorites, not favorite. Um, this year has been filled with a lot of beauty releases, a lot of trends. Um, I feel like this year in the beginning I was trying a lot of new things and then towards the end of the year I have been really just sticking to the products that I have been loving. I have quite a few things here from all different brands, all different price points and I will be linking or listing everything down below in case you miss anything. I want you guys to grab some popcorn, put some tea, get cozy because this is about to be a long one. So I guess I'll start off with face products because that's kind of like the first thing I do. Um, I'm not going to do skincare in this video because I have a skincare routine coming up very, very soon. I finally perfected my skincare, so that's coming up, um, I promise. So I want to show you guys some foundations. I have been on the hunt for a perfect foundation for years now, and this year has definitely been the year of the foundation. I found a bunch that I like, but I narrow them down to three, which is still very excessive, and I apologize about that. So the first foundation I'm going to show you guys is a no surprise if you watch my videos. This is Maybelline's Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Absolutely incredible foundation. It's such an all-in-one product. Like, and this is the Dewy and Smooth. Did I already say that? I don't know. Um, you can use this when you're going out, when you're going to work, if you're going to school. It's so buildable. It's so just incredible product from Maybelline. Honestly, I, I will always have this in my collection because it is such a great foundation. I'm in the color 110 porcelain. I still kind of have my Mexico tan like it's still it's hanging on there so it is a bit light for me but I make it work. It's just such a great foundation and such a great price as well. Another drugstore foundation. This has been all the rage this year. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and a lot of you guys know that I have very dry skin but this just works. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it works for me. It just does. I do have one complaint about this. Their color range sucks. It's so bad. None of the colors match me. So I use 103 and I mix it with my Maybelline Fit Me and it just works so beautifully. But I know that this foundation works great on its own as well because I used it when I was tan and it's just such a great foundation. Pretty full coverage. It is a demi matte finish, so it's not like powdery. It makes you look like you have just a natural matte finish. And honestly, this has replaced my MAC Pro Longwear foundation because it is so much better and so much cheaper. Last foundation is a bit of a higher end foundation. It is from MAC. This is the MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF 15 foundation. If you have dry skin, this is what you've been looking for your whole life. It is so good for dry skin. Um, I just can't express to you how happy I am that I found this foundation. It just gives the most beautiful dewy finish without making you feel like your foundation is tacky, which is one of the things that I hate about dewy foundations. They just make you feel like your skin is tacky. This has a pretty good medium coverage. Don't expect anything too full coverage out of this foundation, but if you are dry and you're looking for something to give you that really nice dewy fresh look, then I definitely recommend this foundation. I'm in the color NC20. So onto face powder, um, obviously I have to show my MAC Studio Fix. This is not a new product. Everybody knows about this product, but it's my favorite and I had to show it. There isn't really much I could say about this powder except for the fact that it is just such a great powder if you're looking for something to set your foundation with, if you're looking for a powder foundation. It's honestly my ride or die. I could always count on it. I'll always stray and use different powders, but I always 
just come back to this one because it's so awesome. By the way, in the powder, I get an NC15 because MAC powders do oxidize a bit. So if you are kind of like in between two colors, I would definitely go for the lighter one. For cheek products, I have more MAC. You guys know I'm a MAC girl, so I'm sorry if you guys don't like that, but I just, I love MAC. So the first thing is a blush. It is the Pro Longwear Blush in Blush All Day. The color is Blush All Day. I've said blush like 12,000 times already, but this is such a great color. I have used this in a bunch of tutorials. I think that this is the perfect Tina color. It's just mauve -y. A little bit peachy you guys know I'm kind of scared of peaches um, it is just beautiful it has a matte finish but it's a bit of a satin and I'm just in love with this product I I featured it in a favorites before and also the formula be of these pro longer blushes are so unique like when you touch them they feel like a cream powder just so great I definitely recommend these blushes and if this is not the color for you just go check out the other colors because you will fall in love with the formula you guys know this was the year of highlight everybody has that highlight on fleek you know oh my god my highlight is definitely on fleek today but I have gone through so many highlighters this year just buying every single one that comes out I was going to feature Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Can't find it anywhere, which I'm really kind of annoyed about. But that would definitely be a favorite if I could find it. Um, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this one. And it is limited edition. And I'm sorry. I'm slowly creeping it into the shop because I feel like you guys are going to kill me. But I'm just trying to stay true to my favorites. And this was definitely my favorite. It came out literally a month ago. But I can't put it down. And I know that this is going to be... One of my favorite products ever, holy grail. Too bad it's limited edition. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the color Oh Darling. And this was a very hyped up release. Everybody went crazy for it. It is definitely something that is very similar to Whisper of Guilt by MAC. And you guys can see, just incredible. I have it on my cheek today. Just gorgeous product. If you guys are looking for something similar, I've heard that the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood, is that what it's called? Their illuminator is very, very similar to this, but just amazing. I wish MAC would make their extra dimension highlighters permanent because they are just so good. So next up, I'm going to move on to eyes. And I thought I would start off with the first thing I do, which is prime. And the one that I want, my primer that I want to show you guys is MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is a very hyped up product and for good reason. It's great. It really just stops every eyeshadow from creasing and it's just, it's a great base. I have hooded eyelids so I'm constantly struggling with creasing eyeshadows. So this is just has been saving my life. Um, I really recommend it and also another great thing about this product is they have many different colors so you can really just find the color that suits your skin tone. So I have some eyeshadows I want to show you guys. I think I have quite a few eyeshadows. That's because this year, like, I have been really into shadow. Like, I am obsessed with shadow. It's pretty much, like, the one thing that I always want to do when I'm doing my makeup. It's my shadow. So I was really looking at what I've loved from the beginning of the year to now. Because as I was going through my favorites, I was like, hmm. I feel like I'm choosing stuff that I've only liked for the last like four months and I'm not really looking back into the beginning of the year. So that's where I came up with my Tartlet palette because I haven't been using this for like a couple months but I remember that in the beginning of the year like the first for like four months this was the only eyeshadow that I was literally using was the Tartlet palette. It's just an incredible palette. I've talked about this palette a billion times on my channel. It's honestly just the perfect matte palette. The quality of the shadows are incredible. They blend out so easily. They don't crease. They have great color payoff. And I just think that Tarte really just made hit a home run. And I think that this is what really caused Tarte to blow up this year. And they've just been killing it with their releases. But I think this is what really started it was the Tarte Lip Palette. I mean, honestly... When you look at this palette, it's not something that you're immediately drawn to because it is kind of a boring palette if you really look at the colors. But when you have it in your collection, I promise you, you're going to be reaching for it all the time. Like, 
I definitely would recommend getting this palette, especially if you are a beginner in makeup and you're looking for great matte shadows, then this is a great palette to have. I of course want to talk about some Coastal Scent shadows. I have been obviously obsessed with Coastal Scents. I've done like two hauls of Coastal Scent stuff great eyeshadows you guys and these are the hot pots so a lot of people always ask me which coastal scents palette do you have and i'm like i don't have a palette i get the hot pots the singles they are absolutely incredible they're so great i'm trying to get this palette open um here is one of the palettes that i have i have many i have literally probably every single hot pot that they have I would really, really recommend the matte ones. The shimmery ones are great, but the ones that I have been using and just dying for have been the matte colors, which are like all of these browns. I just can't, you guys, if you get these on sale, which they're usually on sale, you can get each of them for 90 cents. Ridiculous. Like, that's insane because these are such great quality matte shadows. Like, I just can't, they're so comparable to like Morphe, to Makeup Geek, they're, they're just really, really great. And if you're on a budget but you're looking for amazing eyeshadows, I would definitely recommend Coastal Scent Hot Pots. Remember that. <laughs> Last but not least for shadows, I wanted to give a shout out to Morphe Brushes 35O Palette. And honestly, this is a newer product that I have. I haven't had it for that long. I probably only had it for a couple months. But... I'm obsessed with this palette and this is just everything like it is such a good palette it has everything that you could possibly need in here you guys know if you guys have been watching my vlogmas I've traveled this month and this is the only palette that I took with me which is a lot like that's a lot I didn't take any lid colors anything else just this palette for me Girl, let me tell you something. I will take literally my entire eyeshadow collection when I travel, but you don't need it. Like you have all these, like you have some warms, you have a bit of cool, you have great dark browns, amazing lid colors, and it's just amazing. I love it so much. And I believe it cost $22. I think it's somewhere around 20 to $25, no more than that. So, I don't know, Morphe Brushes has been killing it this year. I'm sure you guys know that. I'm very excited to see what else they come up with for the new year. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I've been using this all year. You guys know this is what I use to do my eyebrows and it's literally the only product that I swear by. I love it so much. There isn't really much to say except it's an amazing product. If you guys haven't tried the Dip Brow, I definitely recommend that you guys go out, buy it and try it. It's just such a great product, honestly revolutionary in the world of brows. And that's a lot to say, but it is. It's just, it's great. And I am I have the color dark brown. That's what I use for my hair color. If you guys have similar hair to mine, then dark brown would work for you. Now on to lips. This year was definitely the year of the liquid lipstick. You guys know every brand, every single brand came out with liquid lipsticks. But oddly enough, oddly enough, I stuck to brands that have had liquid lipsticks prior to this whole liquid lipstick craze. Um, I really was looking through my collection trying to find new releases that I've really loved and worn, but that would just be dishonest because honestly, I haven't really been wearing any of the new release liquid lipsticks as much as I've been wearing these liquid lipsticks. So let me get on to it. The first one is Stila Patina. This is my everything color. This is the color that I'm gonna wear on my wedding day. That's how much I love it. This is like my life i can't express to you guys how much this color just makes me who i am and just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside i love it so much the stila liquid lipsticks are my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formula there is none other that i would ever choose over the stila liquid lipsticks um as far as what I've tried, maybe this year I'll find something I like a little bit better. Who knows? But as of now, and I'm wearing a Stila liquid lipstick in the color Bocky or Bossy on my lip, lip, not on my one lip, on my lips right now. So I just absolutely love these. If you're looking for a liquid lipstick that's going to last all day, no crumble, no mess, Stila is the way to go. And Patina is such a popular color, so... I know you guys have probably already heard of this one already. Another one of my favorite formulas 
after Stila is the Sephora liquid lipsticks. Surprisingly, these are absolutely amazing. They're such good quality liquid lipsticks. I have two colors here that have been discontinued. Um, please don't slit my throat, but I just wanted to show you guys these because this is what I love and this is what I use. Um, this one is 04 Endless Purple, I believe, and this one is 07. They still have the same formula, but just different colors. If you're looking for liquid lipsticks, you guys, these are great. And they are, I believe, $13, so really good deal. And they just work very, very, very well. And my last lip product is definitely not a liquid lipstick. It is the complete opposite. It is a super, super sheer product. This is Clinique's Almost Lipstick in the color Black Honey. I just bought this one brand new. I finished up my last one. This is just a sheer amazing product it really kind of transforms depending on what your skin tone is the pigmentation of your lips it's great i like wearing this on days that i'm not really looking to put on a full-on lip or full-on makeup it just gives a little bit of color to my lips and brings my face back to life without having like a full-on painted lip look as far as brushes go, I have three brushes that I have been loving and the first one is the Morphe M310. I have been loving this to highlight with and I just really like the idea of using a fan brush. I've never used a fan brush for highlighting prior to buying this brush and I just think it works really, really well. It gets right in there and it highlights beautifully without adding like a streak of highlighter, which I personally don't like. I like when the highlighter is kind of like melted into the face, which this brush does and I think this costs like $5. Another brush from Morphe that I have is the M506. I haven't had this for a long time, but this has completely changed the way that I do my eye makeup. Sorry about my phone. Um, I really just like this brush. It's so great for detailed crease work, but it still is fluffy enough where you don't create such a harsh line that it's hard to blend out. Does that make sense? Sometimes I feel like really detailed crease brushes are too um, dense and they kind of create a line that I'm unable to blend out later on. But with this, it just kind of does the work for you. And once again, super affordable because you guys know Morphe is just really, really affordable. And yeah, love this brush. The last beauty related product that I have is this brush right here. This is from Coastal Scents. It is a brush that is unnamed. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to try to find it and leave it down below. I actually have two of these brushes. I love them for everything. I use it for um, bronzer. I use it for under eye powder. I use it for all over powder. Great, great brush. Such nice quality. I think I paid about like $5 for this brush. Wasn't expecting much out of it, but I loved it so much that I actually... Um, bought it twice. I didn't even know I was buying the same brush, but really great. I love the shape of it and it's just been keeping its shape and its quality throughout the whole year. I've washed it multiple times. I've took it with me places. It's just a great, great brush. My last physical favorite is not a beauty product, but I really wanted to mention it because it is definitely related to beauty. This is my Sony A5100 camera. I this camera is so amazing it is very expensive and when I think about the fact that I paid like $600 for this it kind of like makes me shiver but it's really just changed my Instagram game and my vlogging game a lot of you guys are asking me what camera are using to vlog and it is this one right here it's just such a great all-in-one camera if you're looking to jump into the world of beauty and you guys don't want to invest in an Instagram camera and um, a DSLR camera and a vlogging camera this is such a great all-in-one you could definitely use this for beauty videos you can use this for beauty pictures for vlogs for just everything and it's even a great camera to have like as like for as a family camera like for trips and stuff because it is DSLR quality but it is very compact compared to like my big T5i so really love this camera it's it's just a great camera especially if you're into makeup like this will change your life and my last favorite how cheesy am I is obviously you guys how cheesy is that I guarantee you guys probably like 7,000 people on YouTube have already said the same thing but this year has been a very life-changing year for me main reason is because I got weight loss surgery and 
honestly I was very hesitant to share my journey with you guys because I honestly don't really I don't know it, it was a very private thing for me but I decided that I was gonna share it and I'm so happy that I did you guys have been incredible just so supportive so understanding so eager to know what's going on how I'm feeling um, every single day I open up my comments people are telling me oh you look so great you're doing so good like I just can't express to you guys how much that means to me like that's just so great like it makes me feel so good about myself and every day I swear to you I still get my comments sent to my email because I love to wake up in the morning and just read every single comment that somebody leaves because it just makes me feel so great that I have such great friends and such great subscribers like you guys supporting me watching my videos it's just amazing this year has been really big for my channel as well my channel has grown significantly and I just I want to thank you guys. Without you guys, obviously none of that is possible. But I know thanking you guys is not enough. And I know I haven't been the best beauty YouTuber because I don't upload as often as I would like to. And I know how annoying that is when people just sit here and promise and promise. I'm not sitting here and promising anything. Um, I'm literally just telling you guys right now that I... And making 2016 the year of YouTube. I'm just ready to kind of dive straight into it and really put out good quality videos. Whether that be twice a week, once a week. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I'm just ready to kind of put my all into YouTube and make sure that I'm giving you guys what you guys are here for. Which is great videos. So... There's that. Sorry, that was kind of like a long tangent, but I want to know what your New Year's resolutions are. Please leave them down below and use the comment section as kind of a reminder to yourself so you could come back to this video next New Year's and see if you guys actually went through with your New Year's resolutions. Um, obviously, another New Year's resolutions of mine is to get in shape. I think that's like literally all of our New Year's resolution because, girl, these holidays, whew. Let's just say I've been eating. <laughs> Before I end this video also, I wanted to add that I am going to be doing a what I got for Christmas video. Um, that is coming soon. I just have a few things that I'm still waiting on um, because I, I'm i going to go buy some stuff with Christmas money so I could show you guys some physical products. So there's that. And that is pretty much the end of my 2015 favorites. I'm so excited for 2016, you guys. Let's make this an amazing year. I'm excited for everything that's to come. And I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for supporting me in 2015. And yeah, let's just make 2016 our year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.